In this video, you're gonna learn how to use the Facebook Ads Manager to get in front of your target audience and stay in front of them. Let's go. Uh, what I'm gonna share with you guys is uh, a little bit of my background real fast before I jump in. And this is how you're gonna get in front of people using the Facebook Ads Manager. So just a little bit about, about me, I'm a certified digital marketer. I have 10 different certifications for digital marketing. I spent over $200,000 on Facebook ads throughout the years for my clients. Uh, I've been doing this for quite a while. I work with doctors or private schools or restaurants, uh, South Texas Comic Con. We did the same thing that I'm going to show you is what we used for South Texas Comic Con to be able to bring in 30,000 people to the convention center here in McAllen last year. So this is one of the tools that I use and it was one of the major driving factors that we used uh, as far as the advertising. But a spoiler, you're going to have to spend money. You cannot get in front of these people without spending money. And it's something that I always tell people is you have to spend money to get in front of your audience that you want to get in front of. So uh, I will open up questions towards the end of this whole thing. Uh, if you have any questions, type them in the comments. I'll be able to see them. I'm using a third party software to be able to go live here. Uh, let me know if you can hear me type in the comments as well. So you're going to need a Facebook ads manager account for this. There's a boost button on Facebook, but I recommend never using that. And the reason you don't want to use that is because you're not getting all the data that you would really get and all the tools that you would be able to utilize on Facebook ads manager. And it's uh, very important because a lot of people love to push that boost button. They'll spend 20 bucks, they'll spend 15 bucks, they'll spend a hundred bucks and be like, okay, well, it might've worked and it might've not worked. The great thing about the ads manager is you get to collect all the data on the back end and you get to use it in the future. So for example, retargeting. Retargeting is probably the number one tool that you can use on Facebook and Instagram advertising. So I'm gonna jump right into this. I'm gonna share my screen with you. And re reminder, you have to have a Facebook ads manager account. So let me go ahead and share my screen here. And here we go. So I'm just gonna jump in here. Remember, if you have any questions, make sure you write them in the comments and uh, I'll try my best to answer them towards the end of this. But the goal of this, the goal of this video is to really show you the power of the Facebook ads platform. I, I love this platform. I love it better than radio, better than TV, better than billboards, because we get to keep the data for ourselves and we get to use it however we want, really. Like that's collection of emails, collection of audiences, and the remarketing tool is the best possible thing that you can have. So here we go. We are in my ads manager. Let me just close a couple of these other screens here. All right, so this is what you'll see in the front. Okay, so I will jump into how you get an ads manager uh, in, in a little bit, but let me show you what this really is. Uh, it's different than Creator Studio. So this is what you'll see in the ads manager platform. This is the first thing that you're gonna see, and this is where you start creating your ads. So this is for the, uh, the market platform, which was one of my websites that connects buyers and sellers across the Rio Grande Valley, across Texas, and across the nation, really. But I just started this page, and we started this website, and I started running traffic to our website. So I kind of wanted to just show you what it's like. Uh, right here, we have a $20 ad spend per day and we've spent $174 in the past few days. We've had 34,000 impressions. So impressions are just uh, every time the market platform shows up on the screen and the people reached are 20,000, right over 20,000. So I wanna show you the power of Facebook advertising. And this is what I love. I always talked about it for years and nobody ever listens. So if you take one thing away from this, make a Facebook ads manager account and start advertising, start using your own money or start using the client's money and push advertising out in front of the right people. This is gonna get your message in front of the right people. All right, so this next, uh, this next page is where you actually make your campaign. So I'm gonna be going through this. There's different stages of marketing and advertising. So there's the awareness stage and there's a the consideration stage and then there's a the conversion stage. If you're new to everything and you have a new business, you wanna go to this first awareness tab right here. So you can either do brand awareness or reach right here for me, for the, the market platform, I'm going to be doing traffic and this is just running traffic to our website. The great thing about this is I can run traffic to the website. I have a Facebook pixel. So I'm sure you're aware that every time you get onto Amazon, 
and you log off of Amazon, you go back onto Facebook, you see the exact same thing that you were scrolling, that, that you were seeing on, on uh, Amazon, right? That's the Facebook pixel. It's very powerful because it allows us advertisers to follow people around for the next 30 days. So I'm just going to show you here. There's a traffic engagement, app installs, video views, lead generation, and messenger campaigns. Uh, the messenger and lead generation campaigns are for what I run for doctors and lawyers to be able to get qualified leads. So people that are going to give us their email address, phone number, and the rest of that stuff, we can put into a CRM system and then follow up with them. But we're going to do traffic here. Traffic's leading actually the, the people to the websites. All right, so we're going to jump in here. And you're gonna make your ad set name, okay? And then traffic, let it load for a second. So we're gonna do website traffic. You can obviously do app, app uh, and then Messenger and then WhatsApp as well. So uh, Facebook does own WhatsApp. So we're gonna do website traffic. The great thing about this is here, this is where you create your audiences. I'll go over this custom audiences because this is how you retarget, but I'll go over this later. It's a little bit more advanced, but this is a great thing right here. So. These are our locations. So we can literally go into the DMA of McAllen and the, actually the whole Rio Grande Valley and pick the whole Rio Grande Valley and it'll target everybody in the Rio Grande Valley between the ages of 18 and 65. Okay, so if you're a bar or a restaurant, legally you can't throw advertisements to people that are under 21, but this is a, a website where it connects buyers and sellers, you can buy anything. So we're gonna leave it wide open. So we can go into male, female, and this will just go into women. And off to the right over here, you'll be able to see how many people are between the age. So if we toggle just from 21 to 25 for those youngsters that love to go out and drink. It really drops it down and it gets fine tuned. So 160,000 people. So now we can actually go and just advertise just to women. So that's 80,000 people in the audience that we'll be able to reach depending on how much we spend. But let's leave this open back to 18 to 65 and we'll keep it all. So we can actually go back in here and whatever, whatever they type on, on Facebook as their language, you can actually also pinpoint that too. So we had a lot of people that speak Spanish here in the Rio Grande Valley. We're gonna leave that open. Here's the cool part. This is the detail targeting. This is what I love because you can get in front of the exact person that you want. So for example, this is a website where it's going to connect buyers and sellers. People sell products, right? So let's go into, I already had some suggested ones. These are online shoppers. These are people that already know how to do online shopping and they're, they're, they're pretty much aware of how to use their credit card online. A lot of people don't like to use their credit card online like my parents, but a lot of people do. And this is another great one right here, which are engaged shoppers. These are people that are, are highly more likely to be able to spend money online. So this, <laughs> this is even cooler because you can narrow these people down. All right, so if you look over to the right, we got a potential reach of 750,000 people right here throughout the Rio Grande Valley. Now, if we narrow this down even more, well, now we can go actually to, hold on, let me move this right here. We can go to people that also like boutiques. So they're interested in boutiques. Now it's going to drop down the number. It's going to populate over here, 400,000 people, right? But we can even go further. So let's say um, people also that are engaged shoppers, that are online shoppers, that also like boutiques, but also like um, Ricky Martin. Let's do that. All right. Boom. So it's going to populate it again. So now we got a 29,000 person. So it keeps dropping it because it gets very specific. So now you can see how targeted we can get. So we got an engaged shopper that also likes online shopping, but also it must match that they like boutiques and they have to like Ricky Martin. So now it's showing us that we got a 29,000 person audience that we can advertise to. We'll go a little bit lower here. And this is where the placements will be. So you can, Automatic. I usually let Facebook pick whatever they want because they're they're gonna their their online system is amazing at optimizing your ads. But sometimes, depending on your creative, uh, you'll want to actually just click click manual placements. So this this is where you actually pick these certain placements. 
but we're going to keep this pretty simple and just keep it automatic. So here we go. We're going to optimize this for landing pages views. Obviously, there's a ton of stuff, but I, I, I implore you to go in here and start really diving into these things because this is what makes the difference between uh, an advertiser and just a regular marketer. These tools right here really up your game. So you can actually go to landing page views, link clicks, impressions, or daily unique reach. So landing page views, that's what we're going to do. We want people to land on our page and actually see the content on the page and consume it. We're going to do a $20 daily budget. So the great thing about this is you can do a lifetime budget also, and we'll do, we'll do 350 and we'll just do it for until Saturday where we set our start date. And this is the cool thing because if you only open certain, a certain amount of hours during the day or during the work week, we can actually do a schedule. This is the only time that the ads will be shown. So we can pick from nine to six every single day. Monday through Sunday, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to run ads all the time and we're going to do a daily budget of $20 until Saturday. And it's showing us right here on the right that our estimated daily results. So we'll be able to reach 1,000 to 400 to 1,400 people to 4,100 people. And we're going to get 12 to 34 page views per day. Now, obviously this goes up depending on your budget. A lot of people out there that these huge these huge uh, companies have really massive budgets. So obviously you can see if you change the daily budget, the reach goes up, landing pages view goes up. But we will do $20 a day and then we'll continue. Now, this next part is the identity. This is which page is going to be represented. Depending if you have a bunch of different pages, this is where you'll click them. And it also takes into account your Instagram page. So this is where you'll be doing your Instagram advertisements as well. So here's the creative part. So if you already have creative content and you have an actually an online catalog, you can upload it and it'll show dynamic ads. Dynamic ads are pretty much, it pulls the pictures from your website and automatically puts them and auto populates them on Facebook advertising. But we're just do a quick carousel. A carousel is the ones that you scroll to the left and right. And this is, this will actually be We'll change this image and we should have some here auto populated already. So if it's a summer collection, uh, sorry, I don't know anything about summer dresses. I don't even know if this is a summer dress, but I found it. So we can write a headline here. Summer dress on sale now. And I need to go to the marketplace.com and actually get my website and drop it in here, the URL. So then we'll go on to the next picture. I'm going to kind of fast, but uh, just so you can get the gist of it, of how powerful this stuff really is. Uh, here we go, a bikini for summer. Um, I don't know, let me see. Beach vibes 2020. And then we can go to the next one. You can do up to nine, to nine different images. Summer shades, 15% off. Okay, so you always wanna make sure that you're, you're doing your see more, which is our marketplatform.com. And this will be where our primary text Get 15% off now until May 20th, whatever. So this is this is the cool thing about this is now this ad's gonna populate that we can actually see what it looks like over here. Uh, this will show us all our desktop how it looks. And you can actually send this uh, this actual ad to your phone. You can see what it looks like on your actual phone, which is pretty cool. Let me show you that real fast just before we go to the next one. Mobile feed. There you go. All right, so let me jump in here. Actually, I'm not going to be able to show you because I have a watch party going on for this. But anyways, 
this is where you'll start. This is where you'll finish your ads. Make sure you have your Facebook pixel on because this, this data, the pixel is going to be collecting all the information from the people that actually land on the website and you'll be able to retarget those people. So from here, you'll be able to confirm, boom, confirm it. And I'm going to shut this ad off because I didn't do it right, but just to show you the power of it. So now it's going to be in draft and it's going to, it's going to show it, once it gets approved, it's going to start going out throughout the Rio Grande Valley. But I want to go back to this part because this is the part that I think is most interesting. And by the way, if you guys have any questions, please write them in the comments so I can get to them. I'm probably have like five more minutes. All right. So this, uh, my fingers are too big for this computer. All right. So we're going to go back to traffic and we're going to do a retargeting ad with our custom audiences. And this is one of the most powerful tools that's on here. And obviously you can get a lot more fine tuned with the, everything that you have on Facebook. So here under custom audiences, and this is an advanced tool that I'm giving you all for free. So <laughs> Carla, I like Carla and I respect her and I respect what she's doing. So I wanted to give you a lot of value on here. So you'll come in here and you'll create a custom audience. Now custom audiences are website traffic. You know, we can use the sources through websites and it'll show us once we have uh, anyone that's visited our website. So these are all website visitors in the past 30 days. And you can actually go into a bunch of different ones. People have visited a specific web page. So if they went to go and uh, they actually went to the checkout page, we can pixel that page as well. And then follow up with those people saying, hey, we know you got something in your cart. Uh, life gets busy. We get it. Uh, here's an extra 10% off. And you can, uh, you know, take advantage. Uh, visitors spent on the actual website and add to cart. There's a bunch of stuff. And then you can retarget the people that actually have been on the website in the past two days. And you can create that audience. So retarget two days. We'll just do that. So this thing automatically populates every two days. It keeps the information. It keeps feeding the information in the Facebook. And then now you have that retargeting audience. I usually leave everything open because it's only going to go after the audience that's here in the Rio Grande Valley. Or I can fine tune it again. I know people are from out of the valley as well. So that's a retargeting right here. We'll keep it open again, stay in front of people's faces. And then we'll just keep on fine tuning everything. We'll spend less per day because it's not going to reach as many people. And there's a lot of things you can do on this stuff. There's a lot of different objectives that you can use and then we'll keep going. But that's pretty much all I have. Um, I think it's, it's very important that uh, a lot of people use this tool because I think this is one of the best tools in the world besides uh, obviously Google, Google and YouTube and Google, YouTube, Facebook, these are some of the best platforms to advertise on. And the great thing about it is you're not paying somebody at the TV station $5,000, $10,000 to make a commercial and let your commercial run for the next 10 days. You actually create the creative if you want to, you can hire somebody, but you create, you create it and then you create the ads and you spend the, the money actually. So if you want to spend $100 this month, you spend $100 again in front of the right people, right? If you want to spend $5,000, then that's what you spend. But you control everything on the back end of Facebook. And uh, a lot of agencies, um, like my, mine, will charge a lot of money just to do ads. So this is the great thing about this stuff is if you really dive into this options, especially for business owners that want to do it themselves, because I understand there's a lot of DIY business owners that want to do this stuff. So um, they can go in here, start learning this stuff. There's a ton of YouTube videos about this on how to do it right. But I just wanted to show you the power of Facebook advertising because it's super important that, that people know about this because for years, it's very hard for me to be selling to, to business owners because they just don't get it. They don't understand the power of this. So being able to be on a platform like this to share my experiences is really something that uh, is powerful. And I thank Carla and the people at CNC Collective. But um, if you have any questions, write them in the comment section so I can answer them. I got about uh, a few more minutes before I log off here. Now I'll wait for a few. By the way, I'm also using my streaming software, 
which is Ecamm Live. It's pretty cool because uh, I have my light set up here, but I can actually toggle to different different scenes, different, uh, and actually share my screen. And there's a ton more that I can do, but. All right, so I'll wait one more minute. And if nobody comes on, then I am going to call it a day. But by the way, so Facebook advertising is at an all time low, like seriously, like the, the reach that you can get, you can get your ads in front of people at a very cheap cost and using that retargeting custom audience will keep you in front of their face. Now, um, I know a lot of people are hesitant about using money and, and trying to figure this out, but I think that's really the best way that you can learn this stuff. I spend a lot of money on my own ads, so I don't sell anything that I don't use myself. And you won't see me selling anything that I don't use myself. So using this tool, you can get in front of the right people at the right time when you want, and you can stay in front of them as long as you want. All right, guys. So <clears throat> nobody's asked any questions. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. I will see y'all in the future. By the way, if you liked what you saw, write it in the comments. Let everybody know that uh, this is a cool thing that they have going on, and I will see you all.